Hallelujah. How's it going, guys? My name is Blessius, and I hope you're having a great one. I just want to say thank you to uh, Nintendo and the Pokemon Company for inviting me out for an exclusive hands-on virtual event for the upcoming Pokemon game, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. In this video, I will showcase some things that I took away from my little virtual hands-on time and why I think it's pretty cool for the future of Pokemon. I'm super excited about HMs being featured in the Pock Catch. That's right, you don't need a Bidoof to be your Poke Mule anymore. With the Pock Catch, wild Pokemon can appear and cut down trees, fly, surf, etc. Taking notes from Pokemon Sword and Shield, you're able to freely catch a Pokemon and bring it into your party and also send Pokemon to the PC just like in Sword and Shield. Also, the customization of your character has multiple styles that you can choose from. You can even select a style that you want to use for the Super Pokemon Contest and equipping the style there if you want some extra brownie points from the judges. The overworld art style is to reflect the original games, but the new animations in the battles will reflect more so if the Pokemon are burned, paralyzed, frozen, etc. You can find statues in the Grand Underground area where you can use a hammer and pickaxe to obtain them. You'll also find some gems in there and maybe some secrets as well. You can take those statues back to your secret base and the statues will influence types of Pokemon that appear in the Grand Underground. Also, this is really cool to me. There are shiny versions of the statues. They don't give you any extra shiny chance, but they do provide extra influence to find the types of Pokemon that you want. AKA, you put a big Pikachu down, you're gonna attract electric types. And if you put a shiny Pikachu down, you'll attract even more electric types. You know what I mean? And the coolest thing that I found, and I don't really have the footage for it because the footage I was sent to is from Nintendo, but, but you can have your favorite Pokemon follow you around out of the ball like it is Pokemon Yellow or a uh, Heart Gold. I'm super excited about this because literally that is my favorite thing in Pokemon that you can have your, your favorite Pokemon behind you, no matter if it's a huge, huge, just Pokemon like a Gyarados, that thing will be behind you levitating, or you could have a tiny little Pikachu and be Ash Ketchum. I think that's really cool. Those are some things that I got to experience with my hands on, and I'm super excited for it. I was a big fan of Pokemon Sword and Shield, I feel like those games kind of got a bad rap at their launch, but especially with the completions of the two DLCs to that, I absolutely adore Pokemon Sword and Shield. And if you haven't touched those DLCs, there's literal raids in the game that you can play with friends. So, hey, if you ever raided a new world, wow, Destiny, there's a type of that. And it doesn't matter if your Pokemon are not leveled up. You can go through and get shiny legendaries and it's pretty fun. No one talks about this. It's actually fun and a great way just to sit over Discord and just try to get a shiny legendary. And more times out of none, you will get one. It's actually cool. Anyway, I'm a big Pokemon nerd. I grew up with it on the original. Uh, well, I didn't have an original Game Boy. I got a Game Boy Color. It was purple. I adored it. Uh, I had red and blue, eventually yellow, and I my memory does phase out around Diamond and Pearl. I know that I played everyone except Black and White 2, and I didn't finish Sun, but I'm a huge Pokemon nerd, and I'm excited to see what the future of Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, not to mention Arceus. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun putting it together. Special thanks to Nintendo and the Pokemon Company for having me for that secret virtual hands-on preview event, and I hope you have a great one. Enjoy the rest of your week. Kawabunga.